Hey guys, this is Ting Info from Dr. Ting Richardson's Business Information Course at University of Toronto Scarborough Campus. In this presentation, we'll be introducing to you what neural network is, what application does it have in business world, and what limitation it has. So let's start. Throughout history, Humankind have been known to copy things from nature's great creations and make artificial versions of them to benefit our daily lives. For example, we model airplanes after birds so we can fly. Then we learn to model helicopters after dragonflies so now we can hover in midair. And computer which we created to do our brain's work. But computer comes nowhere closer to the complexity of our brain. That's because inside of our brain, we got these tiny little cells called neurons. And there are millions of them, all interconnected. And we call these connections of neurons the biological neural network. These neurons send electrical impulses to each other, which allows us to think and do things that we are able to do right now. To make our technology smarter and do more complex tasks like our brains, scientists decided to create an artificial neural network which is modeled after the biological neural network that is inside of our brain. Here is a simple neural network. It consists of three layers. An input layer where it receives information. An output layer where it displays the processed information. Since we only get to interact with input and output layers, we call the middle one, the hidden layer, even though it does the most work. After a neural network is created, it needs to go through a very time-consuming learning process called back propagation. During this process, a massive amount of information with predetermined output Y has to be put through a newly developed neural network one by one. Then the neural network adjusts itself by using complicated mathematical formulas and learns, learns to perform tasks with more accuracies. Similar to a human brain, a neural network will become smarter with more information that it obtains and will be able to perform more complicated tasks now that you have the basic understanding of what neural network is, let's talk about some of the application that it has in modern business world. So the neural network has been immensely applied into business information management and actively involved in three major areas, the prediction, the cost saving, and the evaluation. So relevant information is what we rely on to predict future trends, and we apply neural network to transfer relevant information to facilitate our market prediction and decision making. So in stock market, within such volatile climate, work rich investment successfully develop an investment portfolio which achieved an average advance of 33%. The secret to their success is they basically created an investment tool, WRRAT, based on Warren Buffett's insights and theories, enter the variables that will potentially influence the value of stock or the entire market, use the neural network to deduce the result and hence optimize their portfolio by using that result. And the SL the LBS software use neural network to predict the SLB index and they have achieved 95% accuracy in total as well. Similarly, in housing market, Richard Post successfully trained a neural network to appraise real estate in New York area. He incorporated 20 variables including square feet of living area, age, and so on and use over 200 sales records to train neural networks that ultimately generate results with 90% accuracy. Another example to apply neural network into successful prediction is in the currency market. 
O'Sullivan Investments created an AI in finance. They train their network by asking the right questions, such as what the market is likely to take off, what's the GDP of that country, or how the economic indicator influences the currency. The more variables they incorporated into a network, the better accuracy they will derive from it. The second major sector that neural network has been widely applied is in the cost saving analysis. Microsoft expressed its gratification from the help given by neural network. Before applying neural network, each year Microsoft will send out hundreds of thousands of mails to their registered customers. The response rate is so low as you can see, but after they use neural network that was fed with various Various variables like how recently they registered, how many products they purchased, and therefore they send mails to more targeted customers and saves them 35% savings in related cost. Lastly, neural network brings good news to the bank. The banker doesn't need to use too many personal judgment to determine lenders' credibility beyond the documents they provided. Nor do they need to worry the possibility of unexpected default or bad expenses. Dr. Herbert trained neural network on more than a hundred long applications, mainly focused on the area of occupation, income, years with employers, and age, and etc. Which, in the end, with a high, a high successful rate between 75 percent and 80 percent. There are still several limitations of the modern neural network. First, the speed of data processing of the system is still a limitation in current stage. Since a well-developed neural network system needs a large space for hardware storage. Second, the neural network needs a training process to know how to function accurately. However, in real application, we still lack of sufficient training data, and sometimes it's hard to decide how much training data is really required. What's more, the neural network would not reflect human emotion, but only do the pure logical thinking. In addition, since developing a neural network is so costly in early stage, why do we want to use neural network while we have so many other well-developed methods? Even though the neural network may seem fascinating right now, it's still in early stage of development. There are still a lot of potential left in this new technology. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you.